You guys, I promised to make my sister a dress and she's traveling tomorrow. I'm glad I just, I literally just promised what I couldn't fulfill and now I'm caught up anyways. Follow me as I made the dress or as I make the dress. Oh more, I don't tire. Especially that I didn't even sleep at night because I was shooting content for a brand. Let's make this short. The tutorial for the shorts, it's already up on my YouTube channel. So this is just more like a so along a time lapse for the jacket, okay? So to start, my fabric is already on a fold. The length of this kimono is 38 inches. So I went ahead to mark 1.5 inches for my zip allowance. For, but, but for this jacket, it is joining allowance, okay, for this kimono. Kimono is just a jacket, though. Uh -huh. I mark 1.5 inches. I folded it and secured a pin. Then I folded it again, okay? So after folding it again, the next thing I went ahead to do was to smoothen it in. Then at the back, I mark my neck width at 4 inches and my neck depth at 1 inch. After doing this, I used my ruler to connect my markings together, okay? So after using my ruler to connect my markings together, this is what we have here, guys. Very simple, very straightforward. Then I um, flipped it over. Then it's time to mark the front part. So for the front part, I marked four inches okay so after marking four inches the next thing i went ahead to do see guys i was distracted after marking four inches i also extended my tape and i marked eight inches for my shoulder okay i marked eight inches for my shoulder at that point i came down by eight inches for and i marked my boss point at eight inches okay so after doing this the next thing i went ahead to do is from the middle i marked my boss so whatever i marked here for the boss is my boss divided by two then i added two extra inches for ease allowance okay so which is what i did there then i connected it to my shoulder point okay so i drew my arm hole mm -hmm. the reason for marking my boss was to draw so to get my appropriate arm hole width okay so at the bottom, I also marked two inches and I connected the top to the bottom, okay? Now, after doing this, whatever I marked for my bust at the top was what I marked for my bust at the hem, for the at the hem as well. Then I added 1.5 inch seam allowance. At my shoulder point, I came down by half an inch to get my shoulder slant. After doing this, I cut my neckline for the back. I also cut for the front now this thing i'm cutting off for the front i didn't throw it away because i used it as a facing for the front as well then i went ahead to cut my shoulder slant the sides and the arm hole okay you guys i'm i'm sounding tired and that is because i am tired and i don't even know why i'm tired it is in the morning and i am tired anyway so after cutting this is what we have here the front and the back part I told you guys I'm going to use that part for the facing. So for the back, I'm starting with the back. The first thing I went ahead to do, you see that joining allowance, I joined it. After joining it, I weaved it. After weaving it, I used the facing I cut for the neckline for the back to turn over the neckline for the back, okay? So this is what I did. After turning it over, the next thing I went ahead to do was to understitch and I gave it a good press. This is what we have here for the back part. Now for the front part, remember I told you that I didn't throw that part away, so I just used it as my facing to turn over the front part, okay? Because this is an open jacket. So after turning over both pieces for both the front and the back, this is what it looks like. Next thing I went ahead to do was to join it at the shoulder point, okay? I joined it at the shoulder point that I made sure the line, the facing matched with each other. That's the facing for the front and facing for the back match with each other. And I joined the shoulder slant like that. So after joining the shoulder slant, I went ahead to join the sides of the jacket. And now it's time for the sleeve, okay? So for the sleeve, this is just a basic sleeve. And I have a detailed tutorial here on this channel on how to cut a basic sleeve. I'm also going to drop another one for this particular video. So I went ahead to join the side of the sleeve. After joining the side of the sleeve, I went ahead to put it in the armhole of this jacket. Then I went ahead to join the sleeve. 
for the left hand side and for the right hand side you guys i used to struggle with sleeve a lot when i was learning how to sew i still struggle with it sometimes here and there but it has gotten easier as i sew so after joining the sleeve this is what it looks like oh i showed you before this is what it looks like and guys this is what the jacket looks like at this point i was already running late i was running late to go and send this jacket to my cousin and i was busy dancing anyway this is what it looked like the tutorial for the short is already up on my channel this is just a short process on how i made this beautiful jacket the next clip you are going to see after this is me wabling this jacket so after doing this video i jumped on the bike i couldn't even drive guys i jumped on the bike and i headed to the park before i see my sister in a dream chasing me with cutlass <laughs> I took it there and see guys, I was running really, really late because I had to even pick my baby from school. Thanks for watching. Bye.